Now I hope you're ready for another story time with Nana Alex. Story time with Nana Alex. Well, hello there, children. I'm so glad you came back to visit me in my home. Now let me think. What story was I going to tell you today? Oh, oh, yes, yes. Look, look at this. This is something that is very special to me. It is a perfume bottle. And this, children, is one of the most special things I own. I bet you have some special things too. Maybe a gift from someone that you love. Yes, you can look at it. Yes. Or 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 uh, something that brings back happy memories. Well, this is very special to me because it was my mother's perfume. And you know when I smell it, oh yes, it, it reminds me of her. And that reminds me of a story from the Bible. So I'll tell you another one. This is a story about a time when Jesus was invited to someone else's home for another dinner party. Can you believe it? He just was always at parties, you know? And and there was this woman that the town would always talk about, you know. They would they would tell some not very nice stories about this Ow! woman. Yes, she was not very popular. That's how rumors start. We didn't know what was true and what was not. Anyways, anyways, getting off track. This woman was at the party and she was so excited to see Jesus that she showed up without an invitation. She slipped through the doorway and snuck into the living room and she was so happy to see Jesus, who she knew was sent by God, that she ran over to him, pulled out a jar of her very own expensive perfume and poured it all over his feet. My goodness, I cannot imagine pouring this all over someone's feet. But she loved Jesus so much, she knew he was so good, that she took her most special thing and she poured it all over his feet. Ah! Well, you can certainly imagine how shocked everyone was. They said, this is a bad woman, and she's pouring out expensive perfume all over your feet. She should be kicked out, but Jesus had something to say to them about this. He said, this woman has done something beautiful for me. She has shown me she loves me ah! because she has taken her most precious thing and poured it on my feet. I forgive her for whatever she does, and she has given me a great gift. Wow, that woman certainly must have loved Jesus. She must have known how special Jesus was because Jesus had shown her God's love and forgiveness, which nobody else had done for her. Oh, it's certainly amazing how love can heal a person's heart, isn't it? Maybe if you're feeling sad or left out or unpopular, just like last week being left out of the party, or this week, the woman not being welcome at the party, you can remember that there is always someone who loves you, and that's Jesus. And that love can fill your heart until it's bursting with love for God and for others. Well, children, I have, I have talked your ear off again, but I'm so glad to have you. Thanks for listening to my story. I hope you will come back again for Storytime with Nana Alex.